Hello, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on the Flexco Heavy Duty Mechanical Belt Fastener Selection Calculator. This is a great tool to use to ensure the correct fastener size is being used for the application. To find the calculator, go to flexco.com, Resources, Product Calculators, and here we're looking for the Heavy Duty Mechanical Belt Fastener Selection Calculator. You can see there's other calculators that Flexco offers. So we'll go ahead in there. <clears throat> you can see here it's asking for three inputs. An Imperial, that's the belt tension rating. As you can see here, it's that tension on the belt. So if all belts come with a rating, if you know that, put that in there. If you happen to know the operating tension, and that's lower than the belt tension rating, we can go ahead and enter that in here also. So we'll go ahead and enter 300 PIW. And then next we're going to enter the minimum pulley diameter. That's the smallest pulley that on your system that wraps 90 degrees or greater. And then if we're using a self-cleaning wing pulley, remember there we want to go ahead and subtract 20% from the overall diameter to calculate that minimum pulley diameter. For example, if we had an 18 inch pulley and it was a wing pulley, we'll go ahead and subtract 20%. And you can see there we're going to now view that pulley as around a 14 and a half inch pulley instead of an 18. We'll go ahead and enter 18 here. And uh, we're not using a wing pulley. And then next we're going to enter belt thickness. And that's going to be the belt thickness before skive. And we're going to enter that in a decimal. If needed, we have this link to the conversion chart. If you happen to know millimeters or fractions and need to get to that decimal format, we can go ahead and use that. So for our belt thickness, we're going to enter a half inch, which is 0.5. So you can see we got a couple notes for straight warp type belting. We always want to make sure we use a rivet style fastener. So use the BR rivet solid plate or the SR rivet hinged. And then for PVC belting, we always recommend you use the XP staple hinge fastener. Of course, other fasteners will work, and that type of belting, we recommend the staple. We can go ahead and select all fastener types if you're not sure which fastener type you're looking for. You know, here's a kind of just a reference for bolt solid plate all, all the way through the XP staple hinged. We can go ahead and check them all if there's only, you know, a certain type that we're looking for we can just check those so we'll go ahead and select all and now we'll go ahead and calculate and you can see here it's pulling up the recommended fasteners for those inputs we put in for each fastener family so if there's a, a fastener size within that family that doesn't fit the requirements then it's not going to show up here and then you can see here in the rivet type fasteners it's also going to go ahead and show the corresponding rivet size for the belt thickness. So if we weren't to skive, you can see it's a CD or D rivet for a BR6. And then if we skive, depending on the depth that we're skiving, it's going to go ahead and recommend the different rivet type. So it does this for all the different fasteners that are recommended. Also, the calculator has this metric option here. Instead of working imperial, if you want to work in metric, same thing with the inputs. Here we're belt strength, and that's in kilonewtons per meter. Minimum pulley diameter will be in millimeters, and then belt thickness in millimeters.